Talk about the the new strategy of the left. Uh, if Kevin Sorbo, if you believe Kevin Sorbo, what's going to happen is the Antifa is going to take over uh, everywhere and is uh, going to uh, drive everyone out of the suburbs and they're going to have to take their weapons. Hell yeah. Um, ben Shapiro, the intellectual um, pillar of the new right uh, in this country. We get one of these every three or four years. They just cycle through. Ben Shapiro uh, announces to the world, based upon the Daily Wire's piece, this is his, um, his uh, outlet, Walmart caves to far left, stop selling ammo and guns. And um, interesting that, um, that they, they perceive it to be the far left. You know, I think um, there may be probably a broader audience that is a little bit upset at the uh, mass killings that have taken place in Texas just in the past couple of weeks uh, or all around the country. Uh, but I will uh, credit conservatives with, at the very least, not wanting their children to be shot um, or their family members to be shot Sometimes the calculation uh, that they're willing to, you know, increase that risk by allowing for guns uh, doesn't make much sense. But uh, nevertheless, I don't think they're happy about it. And uh, so Walmart has responded in the marketplace, right? I mean, when we talk about the marketplace, when anybody talks about the marketplace, this is supposedly the, the wonder of the market. If your consumers don't want you to sell something, they're going to express it in multiple ways. And you make a decision. Is it worth my while? I mean, in fact, all the libertarians will tell you there won't be, there wouldn't be any racism if we didn't have a civil rights act because people would boycott those, you know, uh, those lunch places that don't serve black people. Now, of course, in practice, we know that's not the case. What happens, uh, you know, when chick uh, filet uh, was even uh, was, was uh, you know, funding anti-gay uh, organizations. There was a lot of people who rallied and <laughs> specifically went to Chick-fil-A. But nevertheless, Ben Shapiro has a problem with what's going on with Walmart. He says the left has found a new way of implement implementing policy from the top down. This policy presumably is we don't want big box stores selling guns without the use of government. Simply pressure massive corporations to do their political bidding. Now, I don't know if there was a boycott here or what. He goes on to say this is a dangerous precedent and adds to the continuing polarization of the country. Are we now going to have politically segregated big box stores? Now, what's fascinating about both of these tweets is he perceives pressure on massive corporations as a, um, a, a national policy on some level. It's really just one store that is not selling stuff. It is a corporation deciding it's not in their best interest to sell these uh, baby killing machines and these people killing machines to people. It's a dangerous precedent. Now, can we look up what precedent means? Can we look up what precedent means? Because I'm curious. Precedent, I thought, meant... Let me read this. It says, uh, an earlier event or action that is regarded as an example or guide to be considered in subsequent similar circumstances. In other words, when he says this is a precedent... That would be, this is the first time that this has happened and it's going to end up being something that happens in the future. That political groups are going to pressure businesses to do something that reflects their values. Let's see. Um, well, let's do, can we Google it before we even get to this, uh, this, this era? I want to just go, the, the, let's see, okay, let's just Google, uh, let's Google uh, conservative boycott from, what's the most recent one? 
Like just today, if we were to just Google conservative boycott. Let's see, we got a brief history of bad uh, shit conservative boycotts. Boycott list for conservatives. Boycottleftwingers.com. That's an actual website that has a list. Go, click on that. Let's see what we get here. Okay, uh, this is updated. Oh, this is as recent as, here, slide it over. I, I, I can't see the, the thing. Can you slide it over? Here we go. Okay. We have, oh, now they haven't done anything since uh, January of 2019. Added Gillette for their man-hating commercials. Added Nike for honoring uh, Kaepernick. Added In-N-Out Burger, Burger to the support list. Added MasterCard to the boycott list for attempting to silence conservatives. Added Publix to the support list. Waffle House removed from the support list because they're gun-free policy. Uh, coolers added to the boycott uh, list. Yeti coolers. Adidas added uh, to the list for supporting an American hater. Ace Hardware moved from boycott to support. I don't know that I call myself an American hater. Now, this is weird because based upon the definition of precedent, we're actually going back in time to establish this as a pattern. Can we go back to the uh, Google list? Maybe this is just something that's recent and it's so close. Let's go to January uh, uh, 2011 to January 2016. Uh, conservative uh, launch boycott of Mozilla after Gay's press CEO. I don't even know what the rest of that is. Freedom from Facebook wants conservatives to boycott. Conservative groups call for a national boycott of Girl Scouts. Five corporations that should be blacklisted by conservatives, writes Town Hall in 2013. That's weird. Boycotted advertisers, mad as hell, stop fake news back in 2015. Uh, why conservatives shouldn't boycott Chipotle? They must have been boycotting Chipotle. A conservative uh, op-ed promotes a boycott of a 147-year-old uh, student newspaper. There you go. Um... Wait a second. Let's just go back in time even to 2006 to 2010. We have um, boycott movement against Jim Crow streetcars. Oh, that's not bad. Uh, Christian, uh, let's see, boycott, uh, Christian conservative boycott of Disney back in the time. Uh, GM bailout call, uh, triggers calls for boycott uh, from the conservative right. Why I'm done with Whole Foods. Uh, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Um, the idea that, that in some way it's a precedent for people and there was no boycott for Walmart. It was just pressure. And who is he defining as the top in that? I feel like we might need to look up what that means too. The top would like be of course down the, thing. the power. Uh, and I guess he's saying that, uh, Walmart consumers are the elite in this country who are forcing this change. Um, there you go. Uh, once again, the pillar of the intellectual uh, right in this country, uh, Ben Shapiro shows, um, you know. It's not going to cut it. Eh, I dropped the ball on that one a little bit.